the first day of seventh grade, I remember catching his eyes from across the classroom. We were 13 years old. We didn't know love, not like it really was. We loved like a fairy tale your parents used to read to you. And his time during that time would reveal truth and love. But when I held his hand for the first time, I felt like I just might have found him. He was my best friend. I trusted him with all my secrets and we exchanged his innermost thoughts with mine. We were inseparable. We were 16 when she first said I love you. Sitting in her parents' basement, my heart in my throat, her hands cradled in mine. I was shaken like a leaf. Absolutely terrified she wouldn't return the feeling I was too scared to share. Then she pulled me close and slowly pressed her lips to mine. And with a breath hardly more than the softest exhale, I love you. And I knew then I would spend the rest of my life worshiping her. In high school, college is both a daydream away and an eternity out of reach. The idea of living without me by my side was a fate worse than death. His touch was all I knew, all I wanted to know. We spent months deciding. We sailed an ocean of tears together. The idea of losing one another almost unimaginable. I wasn't anybody. A garbage man's son, a poor boy from a poor family destined for mediocrity. Nothing more than a life of just getting by. But with her, I felt like I could rule the world. But there are no words in the world capable of describing losing yourself. It is living this night, a night where the sky is black and the street lights are dark, all your world becomes is the wind in the trees. Every other sound fades into the background. I see her in every face I pass. Ice water runs through my veins because warmth reminds me of her touch. Every song on the radio is a reminder of her absence beside me. Her smile is my sunshine. Now every day is overcast and drizzling. There's a hole inside me, an ache that time will never heal, that nothing can ever feel. I'm alone, utterly and totally. Yet still the words do not reach the truth. Even now I'm failing and falling short of it. She and I are born from the same star. We were weaved from the same cloth. I've loved her before. Through the cracks of my DNA, I sensed a comfort, a remembrance. She was both familiar and entirely new to me. He was a lighthouse when I was lost at sea, guiding me to a port I didn't know I knew. My life could have gone a myriad of different ways. I could be anywhere now. Without him, I never would have found where I belonged in this world. She felt like a gift from whatever power sits amongst the cosmos. A welcome back to a uh, home I never knew I was missing. We lived for each other, utterly intertwined. But my branch was cut short by a single mistake of a step in my life. The hurricane destroyed my home. Now I am left with. Now I am. Now I am.